Okay, we're going to see how this goes here. I'm fixing to, uh, you will hear Bella in the background. She is in timeout because there's Kira, my two-year-old. She just woke up from her nap and she is eating. And it was a little too tempting for Bella to keep jumping up there and try to get her food. So she got put in timeout. So Bella and Roma don't do so well indoors together. Bella's a little too hyper and it annoys Roma. So I let them play outside together, but they don't. Ziggy, no humping, good boy. Um, they don't play together inside. I'm fixing to do an intro with Roma and Ziggy inside. Again, I'm. Um, well, we'll see how it goes. Um, if I don't like how it's going. I may just put Roma away. Roma's personality. She is, uh, like I said earlier, she says quirky. She's choosy about which dog she likes. Now, fortunately, she does like small dogs, so um, she might do fine, but at the same time, Ziggy and her both are what I would call slightly bossy personalities. So um, we will, and then again, we're indoors, which is a tighter, come on, Roma, tighter environment. So um, we'll see how they do. He's sniffing. Come on, Roma. Roma, come on. Roma. Uh, so she got stuck under there. I didn't like that. So Roma, come on. Let's walk. So she gave him a little lip lift. He's backing off. Um, Roma does give very clear signals when she doesn't want to do an intro, but she's also not real confident. Sometimes she just doesn't want a dog to say hi to her. Ziggy, Ziggy. So see, she gave him a lip lift there. Good. Good. Now she's sniffing. At least that's good. And poor Miss Bella is having a cow. Being in timeout is just the end of the world. So good. She gave a little lip lift. Ziggy backed off a little bit. Kind of sniffed for a minute and I had to tell him to stop um, because he would have pushed it. And Kira, do not give, don't give the puppy food. If he would have pushed it, she may have corrected, and I don't know how he would have responded to a question. <clears throat> so, so we will wait for. I can't believe this has already been two minutes. And what I might do is uh, put uh, Ziggy away for a little bit if they. They don't seem to work it out. Roma does pretty good. She'll, she'll do okay sometimes if a dog just leaves her alone and lets her adjust slowly. Um, so they might, you know, they might figure it out. Ziggy is definitely, you can see he's panting a little bit, which also Ziggy has been playing and he's just met, what is that, one, two, three, four different dogs. <laughs> So he's panting a little bit out of kind of coping and also just being tired from um, mentally and physically playing and, and meeting so many new dogs. Um, but sometimes when you see a dog doing that, that they're, they're kind of working things out. He's going to go and try to say hi again. See, Roma's turning her head to the side. Come on. Good. Come on, Ziggy. Good. And I'm trying to pull him off of her a little bit so that, <clears throat> especially considering she was kind of in a corner like that. Um, he wants to say hi, but she is definitely not into it. And they would probably do better in a greeting outside. Indoor greetings are just confined space. There's, I don't know, and Roma's quirky. So I think I'll stop the video here and um, put Ziggy up for just a little bit and let Roma and Betsy Beagle be out. Betsy, if there's a bone under there, you're not getting it. I hate to tell you. All right, we'll stop here.